I'm Kelly Rudy. On this edition of Paranet BizCast, we will be speaking to Tim Sheehy, President of the Milwaukee Metropolitan Association of Commerce. So welcome, Tim. Um, let's just kind of get a pulse on what's going on in the business climate today. Uh, how do you feel it's doing currently? Well, to understand Milwaukee, you need to understand manufacturing. Uh, we have more jobs in manufacturing than any other metro area in the country, with one exception, and that's San Jose. So if you know manufacturing, it's always the last invited to the party and the first asked to leave. Uh, because it really focuses on, on capital expenditures. So I think Milwaukee's been hit very significantly. This is probably the most difficult time for manufacturers I've seen in the last 25 years. There are some signs that uh, we're coming out of it, but I think it's going to be um, a slow run back, not a quick run back. Do you think that it's important to attract more manufacturers? And if so, how do we do that? Yeah, I think it's absolutely critical. We have such an investment and such an asset in the manufacturing workforce that we have here, the talent, the skills, the engineering, and we don't want to lose that. And if you know anything about manufacturing, you also know that a lot of the plant floors have an aging workforce. So we need to make sure that we have an infrastructure and educational system that's going to replace that talent uh, as it retires. So I think it's critical that we recognize the asset we have in this region in manufacturing and what we need to do to put it in a position to compete in a global economy going forward. So do you think that's the responsibility of the manufacturers themselves or is that the responsibility of the government maybe? Well, I think it's twofold. I think um, all manuf you know, any manufacturer, any good business is looking at its future. It's looking at where it's going to draw its talent from. It's looking at uh, investments in research and development. It's looking at lean manufacturing. It's looking at what it can do to make itself more competitive. I think that this community has a responsibility, if we want to be prosperous, to support manufacturers in doing that. Uh, they are, in a sense, um, our best customers because they export all their goods and services outside the region and bring in new dollars to this region. And that's critical to the community if it's going to grow. How do you feel about incentives? It seems that people wait till we're ready to leave and then they throw the incentives. Doesn't it make sense to perhaps offer it while they're here so it's a more amenable relationship? Yeah, I, again, I think the best thing is to have a business climate that's supportive of manufacturing. And, and, and as I said before, that means a good educational system, that means the skills that, that people um, are prepared with before they go to work, it means an infrastructure, it means energy, it means all the things that we can do to support manufacturers. But in addition to that, um, to attract a, a company and to help corporate expansions, I don't think there's anything wrong with, as a matter of fact, I think it's good public policy to have a pool of incentives that are um, driven to help companies add or attract jobs to the region. Um, I know that's difficult for a company that's already here and says, hey, what about me? But I think um, by creating a stronger manufacturing base, that ultimately helps the manufacturers that are here also. So what about the companies here, though? Yeah, the companies that are, that are here again, uh, I think that um, really look at it this way. Part of the work that we do is product improvement, making the business climate better here. The other part is sales and marketing. That's attracting companies in. And I think that there's a benefit to the companies that are here if we can attract a broader base of, of manufacturers. It helps with attracting and retaining talent. For the companies that are here, we continue to have to work at improving the business climate, improving the output of our educational system, improving the costs and quality of the infrastructure. Um, so I, I don't think you can do one or the other, you need to do both. 